Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 10 assignment of the course introduction to machine learning. Guys, I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions guys. If there is any changes to be made, then please give your appropriate opinion in the comment section positively so that we can try to solve it. And if I get any change update, then I will give that in the comment section. So once again, please uh, visit the comment section for any changes available to check whether it's available or not. So please watch the video till the end guys. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and please share this video with your friends and classmates. First question, K-means algorithm is not a particularly sophisticated approach for image segmentation tasks. We choose the best possible explanation from below which supports the claim. So for first question, So if you see the third option, the algorithm requires number of clusters k to be specified beforehand. So this is the probable solution that I have got guys. And also I am including the first option itself also. It takes no account of the spatial proximity of uh, different pixels. So I am going with these two options guys, first and third one. Next, second question. The pay-wise distance between six points is given below. Which of the options shows the hierarchy? of clusters created by the single link clustering algorithm. So for second question, the answer is I'm going with fourth option guys, the fourth one because here P1 and P2 will get paid as well as P3 and P4 and P5 and P, uh, P6. So in these two pairs, whichever has the least distance from the P1 and P2 will get the pairwise linkage. So I am going with fourth option guys. Next third question. For the pairwise distance matrix given in the previous question, which of the following shows hierarchy of clusters created by the complete link clustering algorithm? Complete link clustering algorithm. So for third question, so I have got once again fourth option, guys. Next, third, uh, fourth question. So before getting into this fourth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So for the course machine learning, we have collected the exam preparation MCQs guys. These are the previous years questions. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected these guys. So here you'll get a huge number of 600 MCQs, 600 MCQs for just 500 rupees only guys. So up to five members can access if one person, if one person purchase with 500, up to five members can access that guys and validity will be till the exam day and it can be extendable till the results day and search option is also available guys search option is also available you can search any question you want and explanations also provided for many questions guys and it is also easy to revise the mcqs so if you want to purchase this then only mail me guys this is my mail id bk179417 at the red gmail.com i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section guys so mail me to this email id bk179 417 at the red gmail.com if you want to purchase then only mail me guys because we are managing a lot of students and many students are interested in taking this pdf pack so many people are mailing us so in order to come in sequential order so we have to set some priorities so if you want to confirm purchase this pack then only mail me guys so team up with your friends and classmates who are doing the same course along with you and you can purchase so 600 mcqs guys 500 rupees only up to five members can access if one person purchase with 500 rupees so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so fourth one in which using number of points n sum of points sum and sum of squared points ss so finally they are asking how do you determine the radius of combined cluster so which of the following is the uh, formula for radius along with the given notations 
so for fourth question i have uh, for the fourth question i have got the answer as third option guys third option third one next fifth question fifth one so they have given two statements guys statement one and statement two the first one i am going to read cure c u r e is robust to outliers and statement number two because of multiplicative shrinkage the effect of outliers is dampened so they have given two statements so for the fifth question the answer is first option guys statement one is true and two is also true and statement two is the two is the correct reason for statement one so first option is the probable solution for fifth question right yes now moving on to the sixth one now sixth one which of the following statements about rand index is true so for sixth question guys i have got the answer as first option guys it is insensitive to the permutations of cluster labels so first option is the probable solution for sixth question next seventh one for rand index ri is equals a plus b by n by 2 so where a is rand index can be viewed as post, uh, true positives and b as true negatives how are rand index and accuracy related so what is the formula that links both these parameters right so before getting into this seventh question i want to once again make you remember guys so for the course machine learning we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs we have collected the exam preparation mcqs which are the previous years questions so with 5 years of nptel experience we have collected these guys so here here you will get a huge number of 600 mcqs 600 mcqs for just 500 rupees only you will get access up to for five members guys if you one person takes with 500 rupees and up access given for up to five members for one 500 rupee purchase so validity will be till the exam day guys such option is also available and it is also easy to revise guys so mail me to this email id bk179470 at the rate gmail.com so remember guys only if you want to purchase confirmly then only mail me guys so now let's get back to the solution for seventh question so for seventh question i have got the answer as fourth option none of the above guys none of the above and moving on to the last two questions so we are still working on that guys if we get this solution we will definitely update that in the comment section so till then i am only giving for seven questions and so week 11 assignment is also ready guys we are about to post that video so stay tuned for that video guys so that's it guys for this video so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you and please ask your friends and combinely take this pdf package it will be very much helpful for you so keep supporting us like this guys so goodbye thank you